Local blood supplies are critically low. You know, if you're young and healthy, you might think that doesn't really affect you. That's what this local woman thought until a split second that changed everything. You'll hear her story coming up. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge all day has a series of really groundbreaking reports. But right now he's live at the Gardner White store in Warren where one of uh, several special blood drives are underway. And you've got some very uh, important material to share with us today, Doctor. Well, that's absolutely right, Guy. You can see behind me, the Red Cross is setting up right now, preparing to welcome donors and hopefully help boost our local blood supply. Now, for the over the 4th of July weekend, supplies did dip dangerously low. As of right now, the Red Cross is actually not able to meet all of the requests from local hospitals, specifically for types O negative, a negative and B negative, although all types are always needed. Now, our local Red Cross supplies blood for 43 area hospitals, and that means they have to collect about 900 units of blood each day to meet the needs of local patients. Especially in the summer and over the holidays, that is really a huge challenge. Now, if you're young and healthy, you might be thinking that this blood shortage doesn't really affect you, so I want to introduce you to Chiara Stella from Ann Arbor. Now, now Chiara, I gather you were one of those people, but what actually changed that? Well, when I was 21 years old, I was heading to an internship in Florida over Memorial Day weekend, and I was in a horrific car accident, and I was rushed to the hospital, and I needed 10 pints of blood right away to help save my life. I thank God that that blood was there, or else I might not be here today. And obviously it was completely unexpected. Oh, yes, it was very unexpected. I had been a donor previously, but I never imagined in a million years I would be a recipient. Wow. So, Kiara, now you have become a regular donor again. Um, what do you want to tell people who may have thought about donating blood but have never actually done it yet? You know, I really think it's the easiest way that you can help save a life. It's, it's worth getting over your fears because it can help people in so many ways. Yeah. Well, you are living proof of that. I want to thank you so much, Kiara. Well, your story is tremendous. Thank you. Uh, now, starting last night at 11, we've been showing you what a huge difference a single donation can make. 